Hey guys, welcome back to VBA A to Z. In one of the episodes of series VBA and SQL Server, we learn how to add or update data in SQL Server by looping through its record. In this episode, I'm going to cover how to load bulk data from Excel to database using a single statement. Uh, you can utilize this powerful function to load huge data set from Excel to database in a matter of seconds. First, I will give a quick walkthrough about the function that I just put together and then we will write some code to insert data from Excel tables directly to MS Excel database. So guys, to continue, I'll quickly walk you through this uh, function that I've written. First, um, go to reference and add a, add a reference to the library uh, of um, Microsoft ActiveX data objects. Whatever is the highest, you select that library and check it and click on OK. Uh, first is our constant string and then this is our connection string that we'll be using to connect to our access database uh, with the with the pods and then if you have a password the uh, password goes here in this area uh, this is our provider coming down here this is uh, extended uh, connection string for Excel so when you're using your SQL to directly you know append or you know like push the data from Excel to database will you have to use this to point to the workbook that we are loading the data from uh, so this is the function basically that creates a connection to the database and um, so you know it's a simple uh, function this is basically this function basically will return a value you know like number of records that has been impacted like deleted or um, appended or um, updated and so on so this is a variable to return us uh, whatever is impacted when the SQL statement is uh, executed. Uh, this is our connection, um, a DODB connection. Uh, with the connection, we are opening our connection using this string, uh, setting the cursor type to uh, client, uh, the user cursor type. And then uh, we are executing, uh, you know, like whatever SQL is passed here. So this will be, this will have to be a like uh, this cannot be select. This will rather be like uh, update uh, statement, insert statement, and so on. And then this will return us, uh, up, you know, like records that has been impacted. And then you know, like it will pass on to the function, which will return us uh, what has been done. Um, and coming down here. It will just close the connection if it is open. All right, so um, let's quickly write a quick, uh, you know, like a test function to, you know, like a test code to uh, load the data from our Excel to um, database. So here I have a data which is about uh, a thousand records with these headers and then um, and here is our table, uh, which currently does not have any data. So I'll write a simple statement to load the data from this table, which is in Excel, to the, data, to the table within the database called daily t. And the, the name of the sheet here is load sh. So sub, we'll call this, um, we'll just call this bulk, bulk upload. We'll declare our SQL. A string so let's call this mysql and then my sql is equal to Lord, I said okay one thing to keep in mind here is the table name uh, will have to go in this uh, within this bracket and then end with the dollar sign so and then so this is normally this will only be the the command if we are just running within the database but since we're doing this command from Excel to database we'll have to use this extended uh, connection string so I'll just say end this so we'll just use this function you can rename this function to whatever you want so I'll say debug.print and then my SQL using this extended property okay so I'm gonna execute this now by just doing f8 quickly 
So I'm going to open in the connection and then it's going to execute. So it says 998. So closing the and then this is 998 data that has been loaded. So you can see 998 and then if we go to the database just to confirm that I open the table now it will have um, 988 records at the moment so uh, let's see uh, how how much time does it take to load the data 37,000 records we'll just give this a shot and just time this how how quick this is that is pasted now we have uh, 636,000 records here which we'll try to write it to the database. So going back to editor, we'll say um, debug.print the time. We'll print it before it starts and then we'll print it again once it's over. So we are able to time it by running this again. So it started at this time, 5, 9 p.m. Give it a moment. And it ended at uh, 12 took less than 10 seconds to load this much data so um, you know uh, this is very useful when you have to load a huge data set from Excel to the database be it SQL server be it access database so we'll do one more example very quickly um, in this new example we'll put a condition so we'll quickly do another example so we'll say uh, we'll just add the condition to the existing uh, SQL. So we'll just say, um, and we'll just start uh, a string again. So we're saying here that where our load sheet transaction type is inflow and the load sheet amount is greater than 80,000. So we'll just try to see if this condition works. So I'm going to execute this. Okay, so it loaded 234,000 records, you know, like uh, around six seconds.